Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly readings for the week starting September 21st, 2015. This reading is for Libras. Thank you for being here with me and thank you for all your support. And let's get started. On Monday you have the Knave of Wands or the Page of Wands. Um, in this deck, the Knave of Wands uh, talks about youthful enthusiasm and um, an admirer showing up. Okay, so you could receive news from someone, you could receive um, loving messages or um, an invitation on a date. Um, this could be from a fire sign, a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius, uh, but not necessarily. You could be presented with a gift from an admirer on Monday. Um, alternatively, this is news of um, passion or news of a new adventure it could be in your work it could be in your personal life but it is an invitation basically on Tuesday you have the moon and the moon talks about light and dark it could be um, advising you that you don't have all the information about a specific situation <clears throat> excuse me if you think you have enough information to make a decision the card is, is asking you to think again to hold off on ma making any decisions for the time being because you do not have all the information or the information you have is incorrect It is about a change in perspective for some of you. What you think was important, what you thought you used to think was important is no longer important to you, that kind of thing. Um, it could also be about truth being revealed to you, secrets being revealed to you, information you um, didn't have access to uh, prior to this week that is being revealed to you. And so the advice of the card is don't make any decisions for the time being because everything is very, very up in the air um, and very unclear. And you need to allow for some time for things to settle down and for you to gain more clarity before you can make, to make a decision. On Wednesday, you have the devil. So the devil speaks about temptations. Um, it could be you're tempted to go back to an addiction or you're tempted to go back to a bad relationship. Um, it could also be you feeling chained to a negative situation or a negative person. You feeling like um, there's no way out, you're just stuck there. Um, now the key to escaping is finding your inner power, taking your power back. Whatever you feel chained to is, is, for the most cases, your perception that keeps you stuck there. Okay, You can make a radical change and be free from that negative situation or that negative person. Okay, So try to look at things that way on Wednesday. And if you're dealing with addictions, again, it is your willpower that will save you, okay? So try to stay away from addictions and temptations and um, look for support if you can't do it on your own because you will receive the support and the help that you, you need to um, stay away from that temptation. On Thursday, you have the Queen of Wands. 
Now this could be a person that you're dealing with on Thursday. It could be a, a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo or a Sagittarius that you're dealing with. Um, this person is bringing something to you. Um, and they're also, so they're bringing something to you and you're, you're drawn to them at the same time. Uh, they have a very magnetic personality. They're very charming. Um, they're very sensual. So you're very, very drawn to them. They're very attractive for you. So you could be dealing with this person, you could be going out with this person on Thursday and um, they're very fun and very bubbly and they like to try new things and so you could be having a very good time with them. Um, alternatively this is someone giving you um, the confidence you need or the inspiration you need to move forward with a project in your work life. On Friday you have the Six of Swords. Um, the Six of Swords is about travel, short term travel. Um, it is about looking towards the future, looking towards how you can improve something, how you can make it better, um, traveling for a job. It is the end of a difficult situation. So if you were, you are looking for a job, you could receive a job offer on Friday. Um, that may include some travelling. If you've been dealing with a bad situation, with a bad relationship, you are finally leaving that behind, you're moving forward, you're looking towards the future, no longer um, being stuck in the past. Okay, so it is, again, it is progress, it is things getting better, seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. And being excited about the future. On Saturday you have the Magician. Okay, so that is a new beginning for you. Um, it could be in your work or in your relationships. Um, if this is in your work, then be confident, you have everything you need, you are the right person for the job. Um, you can make things happen, you can um, turn whatever situation you're dealing with, turn it around and make it better. Um, if you're nervous about starting a new job, then the card is telling you you don't have to be. You are able to balance everything um, in a very very positive way and get the results that uh, you need to get okay and as long as you are honest and open and hard-working and doing doing everything by the, the book no manipulation no tricking people you will you will have wonderful wonderful results and on Sunday, you have the Ace of Chalices, so another Ace, another beginning, another one. And so this could be a beginning, a new beginning in love, okay, or um, marriage, buying a home, moving in together, the birth of a child, um, a pregnancy announcement, true love coming in, new love coming in. It could be a water sign, a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces, but it doesn't have to be. Um, and if this is in your career, then again, it is something you've been wishing for and hoping for for a long time and it's finally coming in and you have your new beginning and you have your um, new potential to make it whatever you want it to be. But it's feeling happy, content, satisfied emotionally, um, secure, and just, just happy, just loved and happy. The general turn of the week, you have the sun. Life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success. Okay, so your general turn of the week, you have success, you have love, you have career opportunities, 
Um, you have everything you need. Um, all eyes are on you. You are being acknowledged. You receive the credit you're due. Um, this is a happy time in your work life, which can translate in whatever situation you're dealing with. Um, if you wished for a job, you get a job. If you wished for a promotion, you get a promotion. You get the bonus, you get the raise. Life is beautiful, life is wonderful. Um, in your love situation, um, could be pregnancies, it could be children, new relationships, whatever you've been wishing for, it is coming to you. So it's just a beautiful time of being carefree and happy, truly, truly happy. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, your general advice, you have new career, okay? Your work focus is shifting in a positive, new and successful direction. Okay, so you already cover that in the cards. So you do have the option to start a new job, to start a new career this week. So just go with it, trust it. Okay, it will take you very far. And in your love and relationships, you have getting to know each other. So again, that's something new coming in, someone new coming in and you having those conversations where you get to know each other, you find out what they like, what they don't like, uh, what you like, what you don't like, um, and just having fun together. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens, okay? So this is a new person coming in, especially with the Ace of Cups. A new um, relationship, you start a new relationship and um, you're getting to know each other really. You're having those conversations and you are being uh, honest with them and they're being honest with you and so you grow closer this week. And if this is in an existing relationship, you're having those conversations about getting married or buying a house or starting a family um, and again you're open and honest with each other and that brings you closer and that gives you a new direction for your relationship okay so it looks like a very good week for you um, I hope you have enjoyed the reading uh, please like share subscribe and comment I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you next week. Take care.